Nigerians now call and recognize our president as Tipin instead of Tinubu. We are very few that love Nigeria. We are very few, very few. Everything is in lips and mouth. But when they are confronted with things that will show their patriotism, you see them, they did that. I was one of the closest to Abiola. And I can tell you who and who was with Abiola. You see, this president, President Tinibu, he was consistent. I saw him in the house every day. In fact, he was always with Chief Abiola in that S class, everywhere he went. This is because of the height of hunger currently being experienced ravaging the surface of Nigeria's existence. It has never been this hard, according to some prominent Nigerians. However, Dan Wayanwo has noted that the president will, by his own hand, destroy his own government. We are very few that they love Nigeria. We are very few, very few. Everything is in lips and mouth. But when they are confronted with things that will show their patriotism, you see them, they did that. It's like talking to me about trauma and religion. I tell you to get out. Because in my history, from when I worked in the bank to when I joined trade unionism to when I was conscripted into Abiola Hope 93. I was one of the closest to Abiola. And I can tell you who and who was with Abiola. You see, this president, President Tinibu, he was consistent. I saw him in the house every day. In fact, he was always with Chief Abiola in that S class, everywhere he went. That was where I met Abiola. Uh, I met Tinibu for the first time. I was very small, hungry looking. But Abiola gave me a seat that I didn't deserve. Up to this trade, you don't listen. I have never, never sought to contest for anything but it gets to me. And it doesn't come from people of my tribe. So, how will you be talking tribe to me? It will not work. By the time you open your mouth, it's done. It's, you are gone. But look at the way they came. The way we recruit people into politics. If you are straight, you will uphold the truth. Nobody will remember you. When they mention your name, say, I don't know, no, you come and support it. No, that will come and support it. Leave him. Not that you have stolen. Not that you have you fought anybody. But because you, you will be in a position to tell the leader the truth to his face. President Tinubu is not hearing anything. I'm not there with him, but I must tell you. It's like when President Buhari started misbehaving in government. Let me use that word. I was forced to grant an interview that this is not President Bu General Buhari. They say, how? I say, I have had one-on-one -on -one with this man three times in his house. None lasted for one, less than one and a half hours. In his house at Kaduna at different occasions. And I was speaking with him every Friday before after mosque until this agreement that brought about APC. I said, that is not worthy. It was so compelling. And he convinced me. That was how I offered him the ticket to run for president on the Labour Party. I was natural chairman then. But when he came to government, when I started seeing the hand of monkey in the soup, I said, no, this is not bad. He couldn't have, it was high there, I was low here. He couldn't have deceived me. I don't think he used Takia on me. No. He spoke from his heart. Do you know the meaning of Takia? Huh? Deceive them. He didn't use Takia on me. I offered him. After that, he formed CPC. I said, ah, General, I called him one day after most because that was the best time to speak with him. I said, but we are talking about level. You are forming CPC. He said, we can bring all of them together. 
we still continued until APC was formed. So what am I trying to say? Is the people you surrounded yourself with. Now, only one or two are getting to the president from the fillers we are getting. Others have blocked any reasonable Nigerian from having access to the president. Because they don't know it. They don't want anybody to come and tell the president so that the president will not discover their inadequacies. But it shall pass. Compare it with the time of President Jonathan. There were many ways to see President Jonathan. He was accessible. Let me not talk about President Yaradua, whose tenor was short-lived. Go back to President Obasanjo. There were many ways to see President Obasanjo. Either I go through the CSO, or go through the ADC, or go through the Andioba, or many ways. There was something serious I wanted to see President Obasanjo one time. I went to Brother George. It's okay. Are you in Abuja? I said, it's coming in the evening. I went to his house in the evening. V, see President Obasanjo. Three minutes, five minutes, I was on, I left. That days after he did that thing, I was proud of myself that the president had listened. And that thing helped his government. I'm showing you how a president operates. President Babangida would drive out in the night to whole Abuja. When he was even in Lagos, he drove to see how the situation is. At times he visited construction sites. So what has changed? Is it not the same office? Is it not the same office of the president? Everybody has his style, no problem. But they should not make President Tinibu to mess up his seat. Because as far as I'm concerned, that seat is occupying has a very high significance in power rotation in Nigeria. People should not make him play with it to the extent of Nigerians disagreeing with it that he should continue to be there. Because as far as I'm concerned, it has very high significance for the unity of Nigeria. The people around him think they love him. When did they know him? I have told you I met him one-on-one -on -one in 1993. But before then, I have worked for him through Fashola in his second time in Lagos. All these people around him, when did they see him the first? They've never met him. You see? It's like when I told somebody, I don't want to go, because they would say now he's dropping names. I will refer, I make coffee, I make, I make, I will give you references. I shook a buffer me all over four times in my life. I was small. That's why I'm crying. Why was there no GSM then? All my clothing, you would have seen his badge. I was shook him four times. What took me there? I said, bank worker. I went to sell foreign exchange in his house, number four, Park Lane. The first time he, he shook. And throughout the transaction, his eyes was on me. I was observing it. I was shivering. We were three, myself, uh, Lexi Zeburo, and uh, Mr. Hanadeko. Foreign exchange department, you don't back up, Papa. I don't know. You will not know then. After selling that travel, as we are going, he crossed his hand. My son, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ikedru. Ikedru. He mentioned four people from my local government. I only knew two. When I traveled, I asked my dad. My dad told me where they were from. So when we came out of Abafina Ulo's house, he said, this is my car. I said, yes, Baba. This car knows Nigeria more than Shagari. Shagari was president. I didn't know the meaning. But when we got back to the office, they now told me that what he meant was that that car has gone round Nigeria, which Shagari had not covered, but he is president. Those travelers' checks were to be stolen the next day. He was traveling with about 26 household members of the household. They carried the bag from the accountant in the box region. They alerted out and canceled all the telex messages. So we went back to resell two days after. 
But before then, they have called their papa and said, they have returned the bags. The thieves, go and check, go and check. You see it in the media. The thieves who carried the bag opened it, saw Abba Fema Ulo, HID Ulo, and all his entourage. They carried the bag like that and dropped it at the gate of number four, Park Lena, Papa, without removing anything. We said, no, Baba, we have already cancelled it. That was when we went to sell the second time. And you shook us when we were coming in and when we were going. So I shook Aulo four times. How many people had that privilege? You can see, you can see how my body was, my mind and soul was built. So even in the land of the thieves, they have a, what do you call it? They have their own rules. They saw a man. Oh no, this no, we can't take this. No, 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 no. He has been fighting for us. They returned it. It's in the media. Go and cross check. I sold those three blood checks with two other officials. So all these things, I never sought for any. And that very week was the very week I was moved from bookkeeping department to foreign exchange department. This one now banking, you press button, everything is balanced. No? You machine, tick on your machines with vouchers to balance. Now machine is doing balancing, they call it banking. It is like this because all Tom, Dick and Harry are now into politics. We have canvassed that these political offices, particularly in the legislature, is not full time. That's why the constitution said you must not sit less than so so number of days. Which means the other half of the year, you're on your own. We should not pay them salaries. They should collect sitting allowances. Not to talk of collecting 20, 25 million naira every month. Look. If you want to come to the Senate or House of Rep in Abuja, you don't have a house. And you don't have anybody to accommodate you. You don't have a car to move you around. Don't come. Go and contest for state assembly. There are people in this country today that are ready to come in the Senate House of Rep without pay to make good laws for the good governance of Nigeria. If you don't have, don't come. Somebody will be feeling from a profession, politician. Most of them have nothing running for them until they got there. That's why you see this pardon, this corruption rising. Because they want more money. There are Nigerians, thousands of Nigerians that would like to make laws. Free. If I enter the Senate, I need not collect anything. There are many people like that. So you cannot come and make laws that are not for the good governance of the people. This is the problem we have. President Tinubu has not touched the issue of cut in governance, cost of governance. It's too high. It's too high. Since they have started enjoying million, million, I will not say bring their band to 100,000. Let nobody in the house ask, add everything. Let it be said as a rep. Let nobody live with more than 5 million naira every month. Add all. A person just called, the president just called it a cheating allowance. This allowance. Add all. Let it not pass 5 million. If you don't want it, go to the state assembly, go to your state. How many people are earning 5 million naira in Nigeria? If I open this TV now, they are sitting. You can count the number of people in the house. You can count the number of people in the house. They are not going. Cost of governance is one of the problems. So this country must be fixed. I have faith in this country. The President Tribu should look around him. You know, there is this, uh, this rat, uh, 
that smells when it passes. I don't know what they call it in other language. Huh? Eh? Mouse. Eh? Mouse. Mouse? Mouse. No. no. We call it in cow. Mouse. Eh? We call it uh, we call it in cow in my place. It's mouse. Asi. 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 I remember you guys call it asi. Where are you from? Edo. Edo. Okay. okay. Uh, mouse is the color. Okay. 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 No, the English name is mouse. Mouse. No, mouse, mouse is different mouse. from it's all mouse. It's all mouse. We call it in Kaku, Yorubas call it Asi. So President Tinebu should know and should not forget that the thing where they make in Kaku Asi to smell is in the body. It's not from outside. You should look around. When they listen to this interview, they won't like it. When they see me, they will frown. It doesn't matter. I'm a patriot. I will see it as it is. I'm not asking for anything. I look like this because I don't expect anything. If you expect something, if you are disappointed, it will affect you. Other blood pressure or something, you start eating yourself up. So the best way to look good is never expect anything, but keep working hard. Going by some of his malnourished policies, and he, the manner in which they are being implemented. It is no longer news, no a thing of shock, nor is it a strange info that the hunger that is currently being experienced is on the airstream and Nigerians are wallowing in abject poverty on a daily basis. Many Nigerians can no longer afford three square meal. Some live on 001, while some live on 010. It, has, it is as bad as it is at the moment. However, this calls for a reflection by this administration to take proper look internally and assess how they can ensure that they right the wrongs, which has currently launched us into the realm of the economic hardship we find ourselves at the moment.